Hi everybody. So I had, I had a question about um, question four of the oscilloscope. So the first, so this one is the oscilloscope trace shows the voltage across a two kilowatt heater. So two kilowatt is a thousand watts, two thousand watts operating off the main supply. Fifty um the the frequency is 50 hertz and the RMS voltage is 240 volts. What is the voltage setting on the oscilloscope? Now, in order to figure that out, so this vertical axis is your voltage axis and the horizontal axis is your time axis. Now, you've got to kind of read off what is this. So this is the peak voltage. So we need to know what is this peak voltage. So if we know what the peak voltage is, then we can find out what these divisions are. Okay, and in order to calculate peak voltage, it's root 2 RMS voltage. So root 2 times 240 gives you, so let me put that in my calculator, um, 240 times square root 2, and I get about 340. So I get 340 volts, and that's your peak voltage, right? So if this is 340 volts, then you go 100, 200, 300. So from here to here, is 100 volts okay so your voltage setting on the oscilloscope is 100 volts so the answer to that is 100 volts okay b time based setting so the time based setting is the time it takes to do a whole one whole wave almost so it's that distance okay so this is 10, 20, 30, 40 divisions, right? Okay, so what do I need? So I need to know what is the period. So if frequency is 50 hertz, then my period is 1 over 50, and 1 over 50 is 0. Point. So 1 divided by 50 is 0. 0.02 seconds. That means from here to here, so that much is zero that much time represents 0 0.02 seconds so this is the way that i calculate so that is 10 20 30 40. okay so 40 divisions is 0 0.02 seconds so five divisions is how much so i go 5 divided by 40 times 0 0.02 and I go 5 divided by 40 times 0 0.02 and I get 2.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3 seconds which is the same as 2.5 milliseconds okay and then the last one calculate the current which would be recorded on the multimeter so power is voltage times current and it's always calculated using rms values so current is power over voltage so it's two kilowatts so 2000 watts and my rms voltage is 240 volts so when you do that you get about 8.3 amps so those are your answers Okay.